Hi, welcome back to the show, and uh, we're here again today to promote positive sexuality. So we're going to have a few e teenage editors from Otahu College to come in and talk about their magazines. Pretty exciting stuff. So first on the show is Dr. Dre. Welcome. So he's a teenage um, magazine editor, and um, Dr. Dre, your magazine, your first ever magazine is called You're Infected. So, what I want to know first and foremost is, why did you choose that topic, You're Infected? Because it is pretty out there. Well, because some people who don't have the courage to tell others that they're infected might um, be interested in the magazine and feel like they can learn from it. Excellent. And so what sort of lessons are you... What was your focus in putting it together? What, what are some of the issues that you cover inside You're Infected? influence people on um, their body weight just like as you can see his Khloe Kardashian she's been through a lot and um, since her Um, Hollywood Bowl, thank you so much. 
Right, we're back again and we're here with some more editors, teenage editors for Positive Sexuality. Our latest editor we've got here is Joseph. Welcome, Joseph. Now, you've got a really interesting magazine title and it's called <laughs> Smelly He's doing a really Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done. Thanks for coming in and thanks for e your excellent work. Hi, and this week we're back with some more editors for 
positive sexuality and role models. And today we've got Siu, who actually has her beautiful magazine called Confident. Welcome. So Siu, why did you call your um, magazine Confident? You've actually got a few celebs here, like Caitlin and who else? Um, I also have um, Charlie Sheen and Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, um, the reason why I called it confident because there's like heaps of um, trans people out there and bisexuals and yes. lesbians and gay that like don't feel confident about themselves mm -hmm. and like they're actually hiding it mm -hmm. so like they haven't come out to reveal who their true inner self is. Excellent. So like that's why I call it confident because like I wanted to attract them to the medicine. Excellent. It has some real good advice about it. Yeah. Like if they need help about the sexuality, they could just look up the magazine. There's a lot of help there, so I think I think and I know that like you can help them. And you've got a few websites if if you're not confident enough to speak about it, that yeah. you can go on and get help there. Yeah. Um, everyone's doing Ellen in their magazine, so why did you do Ellen? Well, first of all, I'm a big fan of her show. And Right, have a seat. So, Josh, your, your magazine's called Flappy. What, why did you call it Flappy? Um, what was the whole motive behind it? Um, included in yeah. Israel Falau yeah. because um, interesting. Um, he went out to all these schools in Australia and he was promoting everyone to be proud of their sexuality. Great. 
And he was doing it through rugby, wasn't he? Yeah. So no matter what sexuality you are, you can just still play rugby. Because it's a game. It's not about your sexuality. Excellent. So thanks for coming in. I love the title. And um, so what do you hope to do after <clears throat> putting out this magazine? Do you want a career in being an editor? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, and we're back, and we're doing a promotion on promoting positive sexuality. And we've got another editor another week um, prior to the last week's work, and her name is Natasha. Hi, Natasha. How are you? Good. Now, we've got your um, magazine, and why did you choose that title for it? Um, when we was in time. Yeah, it was important to you because... I read about it. Yeah. Right. So you read a lot of magazines. And do you think it's important that everyone gets it right when they're in a relationship? Yeah. Great. So you've covered so many um, celebrities here. There's a sporting one here. Who was that? Yeah. Laura. So Laura is one of a former New Zealand Silver Fern captain. And she's now living where? Yeah. That's right, Sydney. Excellent. Now you've got an advice page, which I think is very, very thorough. If you're going to be putting out a new magazine, and you're talking about everyone's well-being here on this page, I love it. Um, what did you find, especially for this one, STIs? Why do you think it's important to talk about STIs in today's society? Um, I just wrote a story to share my feelings. Okay. Great. So you're giving personal experiences and um, anecdotes on that. And you've got some, some games for everyone to read, so it's actually quite a full-on, very well thought out magazine. So thank you for coming in, Natasha. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Hi, we're promoting positive sexuality again, and our next guest is Anna. Welcome aboard, Anna. And I hear that you're another um, teenage editor promoting positive sexuality. Now your magazine is over here and it's called Store. Why did you um, entitle it with the word Store? Because if you break down the letters mm -hmm. for Store, so the first letter is S, yes. stands for sex. Sex. And then T is for trans. Trans. So gender. O is for oral. R is for rape and H is for homosexual. Nice. So you're actually covering the whole spectrum of what could take place with sexuality. Exactly. Brilliant. So, um, who, who did you profile in your magazine? Um, Caitlin Jenner. What was the reason for that? Very good. Because she's a transgender. Uh huh. And she's telling people that it's alright. Yeah. To be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And um, do you think it's important for more role models um, and top profiles to come out and just be who they are? Yeah. Think it's healthy. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, what what can anyone expect reading your magazine? Because there's like um, a lot of advice. Like, there's awesome. a lot of advice. Yeah. And if they're having trouble, like they can read it. Good. Okay, we've got we've got a lot of websites today, and it's actually really nice that there's a magazine for teenagers by a teenager. So thanks for coming in today. Mm -hmm. Really love sharing. Hi, and we're back with another special guest, a teenage editor, and she's just arrived. Welcome along. Hello. Terry. Now, Terry, you've got a new magazine now. Are you excited? Yes. Um, what's it called? I'm not sure. What's it called? <laughs> I'm not sure. Now, she's got a few prezies on the front page, if you like to zoom in. She's got a few presents for all the readers. And she's called it I'm Not Sure because usually at that time of life, you're not really sure about where you're going um, with sexuality, do you think? Yes. Is that your angle? Yeah. Why did you choose I'm Not Sure? Well, because there's other people out there like in the world that's not sure about their sexuality. Yes. So if they are not sure, then they should turn to my... Your magazine. advice. Yeah. yeah, excellent. So was it difficult putting a magazine together for teenagers? Yes, but <clears throat> it was difficult at times. Yeah. So during your research, who did you profile?
<laughs> so wonderful. Thanks for coming in. Um, what, what other um, person did you profile? So you did Israel? And who else? And we're promoting positive sexuality this week. So
Some some teenagers in nowadays they feel like as if they're stuck in maybe in a relationship, sexually yep. relationship and or they need help or yep. maybe they they just they just they just feel alone. Yeah. You know? For sure. <clears throat> so you're giving them what? Um advice on and and like their thought that there's help. Okay, so they know where to go yeah. and it's your magazine called Stuck. Yeah. Yeah. So are you proud of it? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very proud of it. Excellent. So, so what? Who are some of the people you've profiled in your magazine? Um, the one, one very important person is um Oprah Winfrey. Oh, sure you have. Yeah. So, why did you choose Oprah? Oh, because um. as teenage editors and what a way to finish with Professor Samisi. Good luck with your husband um, and your wedding on Saturday. <laughs>